Hey guys, uh, I see on Facebook you guys inquire quite frequently about removing these ignition switches. Uh, the service manual actually tells you to remove it in the locked position. Actually, if you remove it in the straight ahead position like this, after it's removed, you can then continue to turn the handlebars. If you remove it in the locked position, basically once you remove it locked, it's going to remain locked until you put the ignition switch back in. There is a small button on the bottom of this. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to stick the screwdriver underneath. We're going to depress the button. I'll point that out here in one second. We stick the ignition key in. We push up on the button and we turn it counterclockwise. And the little small button that I'm depressing is this guy right here. So if you depress this button, turn it counterclockwise, it removes the lock mechanism. So you can then withdraw the lock. Basically, as long as you don't stick it in or turn anything, whenever you go to put it back on, it's the exact same procedure. Basically, stick it down inside. Bam, we're back in the, uh, the run position. Easy as that.